Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. If you're here, subscribe down below. Today is the big day. I'm so excited. Our horse, Ready at Dawn, is in the Prince of Wales, which if you don't know, um, there's a triple crown and there's a Canadian triple crown. And this is the second leg of the Canadian triple crown. Oh, I just got to the track and who's wearing my colors? Is it Julia? Yeah. And here's the big boy. This is our Ready at Dawn, but we call him Prince. And that's the big boy. That's his favorite toy to play with. We got the Samson Farms there because they're the ones that bred him. That's his pedigree, his background. Agent, yeah, right, Mr. Handsome. I'm not gonna touch you because I don't wanna get yelled at today. <laughs> oh, there's our Princess Fabiano. Her real name is Princess, isn't that funny? And she's where does she live? Right beside the Prince. Uh huh. And we call Dawn Prince. That's his nickname. Isn't that right? Mm hmm. So, Janet and I just did the big boy stall. It's nice and clean. There's all the nastiness from his stall. And right now he's out for a walk, so I'm gonna show you guys him. And there's the big boy. Okay, Prince, time to go in. Oh. Is the first? You don't wanna go in? No? Right? He likes the media attention. Is that what he likes? Yeah. He's posing. You're gonna be on YouTube, Buckaroo. He's like Secretary. Remember Secretary and love the camera? Zenyatta, all the good ones. All the good ones? These are good ones. Yeah, he's your Zenyatta. So he's getting grass now, right, Dad? Yeah, he runs in about nine hours. Nine hours? Oh my gosh, this seems like a lifetime from now. Come on, friends. Just a couple multiples. There's Julia. Sorry, Jack. Today's not your day. <laughs> okay. Oh. Why don't I do I come back and do his main right now? Take two seconds. Yep. You thirsty? Don't tell her to take a few turns. I, I did it like three days ago, so I probably won't be. It's tense. Probably won't be 20 seconds. 8.30. Oh, who's that? See, so cutting his ears. Cutting his ears? Cutting okay, cutting the hair in his ears, sorry. <laughs> touching up his bridle path. Cutting there. So I did it a few days ago. Yeah. Somebody wants my attention. You get a fresh That's new do. You get a and fresh a new do. Boy, for a boy that doesn't like to rub you, do love it. Right? Maybe. 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 I think you're spoiled rotten. I think someone's spoiled rotten. Star. For now. Hey, right, friends. Yeah. Can't be a star just for a day. No. It's, like, it's for a lifetime like me. He says, what's going on with all this attention? Can I have, well, a, can I have a peppermint? Oh. After. Look at him. He's like falling asleep. I want a peppermint. <laughs> Dom. Right? To go. To Dom. go like this. Like I said, I already did this a few days ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There we go. So he and so much your new haircut. So he did up here where their whole thing you know, goes. Back and the like right the there. It didn't really get to show. Alright. But that it was done and they pulled this. Wow. You got some mints? Wow. So what we just got was this. This says his name, the Prince of Wales. And it looks all pretty and nice. And that's the big boy. I'm gonna say that so many times in this vlog, I'm so sorry. Literally, all I'm gonna say all day is, oh, here's a big boy, here's a big boy, here's a big boy. Here's, I don't have mints, here's a big boy. <laughs> so we just got the farm. That's the race right there, four okay, so dairy track. Doing? Here's the farm. Race 10, second jewel of the OG Triple Crown. Those are all his competitors. And here we are. He's still doing what he's been doing all day. He's just eating his grass, and not his grass, his hay. And he's just hanging out. Only seven more hours till the big dance. Prince, your Prince of Wales lunch? Well, they have to eat way before the race, so it's 10.30 right now. 
He'll be having his lunch. Seven hours to close. Yep, the big boy's just eating now. I've done my hair. Ooh, look at that wind effect. Wearing my dress, and then I have my grandma's purse with me. It matches perfect. It is ready at dawn, and right now it is 1.30. And we have a horse in the third race. Her name's Classy Vision. I'm not supposed to go close, but I don't know if you can see, but he's laying down. And apparently that's the best thing in the world for him to be laying down and, and resting. He's resting before his race. To other news, um, somebody gave us Krispy Kreme donuts and I literally never had them. It looks so yummy. Oh my god. So now they're just bathing Classy Girl. And there's Janet recording it like she always does and she rewatches them for literally all day every day. There's Dom holding it. He says he doesn't like the spotlight, but he's always holding the horse when it gets bad. Mitch the front side and there's Classy Girl. That horse is so pretty though. That seven. For number four. Janet and I are over at front side. There she is with her camera. <laughs> come on, come on. Bring yes. her home. <laughs> Missy is defeated. Classy Vision came on through, through the stretch, eight speed. Classy Vision, the hard closer, is coming on to take it all. Classy Vision passes them all for a memorable win on Prince of Wales Stakes Day. I recorded, I was yelling, but our horse won. She's gonna be full of dirt. There she is, getting bath, yeah? She paid $13 to win. There she is. Oh, classy girl. You did so good today, mama. Can't believe it. Well, I can believe it, but... Just in the nick of time, eh, mama? Just in the nick of time, baby. Oh, yes, get all, all that dirt out. But guess what? You're splashing some dirt in people's faces, too, okay? Don't you forget that. Now they're putting all... All the stuff on. Over here, wipe right out. Hear me? Now they're dressing them up for the dance. He doesn't like that part. Because of his mouth when he got cut out of his mouth. Come on, buddy. There we go. <gasps> oh, it's so exciting. It is I can feel it in the air. It's been a good day for everybody. It's been a good day for Goldie, John, us. Hey, Joel, come on down. Now Julie's going to put the nose band on. Canada. Perfect. That's to help them breathe. This is not the one hole. There we go, and I'll show you guys his back. No, you can leave it on there. Process that all the horses yeah. have an opportunity to go through one horse through it every race. Right. Oh, and they test one horse a race. And this time they test the local horse and not the seven shippers. Oh, they also tested Classy Vision today too. We did wait. So this is the process. They take the blood and to see if the horse has a high level of bicarb. I think blood. We're brave in sandals. I got called in last minute. Oh, they call we already heard this. Like, we already heard this. Yeah, I call him like, ah, uh, okay, but I'm like, no shoes, no clothes. He's so handsome. Yeah, we gotta back him really quick. Well, my sister's I'm gonna back them in. Then, like, I'm not worried about them. I'm gonna take them. I'm gonna take them. They're yeah. yeah. behind a few minutes. We're gonna do what we do. Well, this, 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 this was three extra home. minutes. <laughs> you can be three minutes. There were like $3. Because you're a mouse? I gotta buy them. No, I didn't. They're still ugly. I love them. 
Okay. You're good? You're okay. Good. Thank you. I videotaped it for YouTube. Of course, he's going out now to get his bath. Take Oh, okay. look, Julia's already got him. You got him? Oscar, no. Yes, that's the spirit. Always, they come every time. That's why our name is Double Blooded. They always do it. Since he's a bad boy, they're gonna they're gonna do it. It's done. Beautiful. I want to take a turn. I want you to loosen them up. No, I want you to jog them down the shed. I want to jog a turn, then we go. Don't worry about them. Put them over when we come over. Go up, Julia. That's him. All right. Yeah, go on down. And we're going. Going to win number six. There's the big boy. There he is. There he is. There's the big boy. Hey, Jules. You're up. Yeah, Jules. Come on, Jules. Come on, Jules. Come on, Oh my gosh. My dad's like nervous. You can hear it in his voice when he talks. Can you hear it? just said hi, Daryl, and he like just said like, shook him off. Good luck, Mark. Good luck. There he goes. There goes the big boy. I'm shaking too. Me too, Jan. Oh, I think they went back towards you. There. There's some of the owners over there. <gasps> Another butterfly. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Come on, bud. Good luck, Don. Good luck, Mr. Handsome. There we go. I don't have to leave. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, I just want to say sorry. I don't see it now. I don't see it. There we go. And local writer Mark Buchanan is in the saddle of Ready and Dawn, a descendant of 1991 Prince of Wales champion. Dan Smartly. Yes. There he is. Don. Oh, there they are. There's the people of the hour. You want to move down or here? You're going for a walk? Oh, no, I don't sit still, but. Hi. You want water? 15 to 1. 15 to 1? water? That's it? Right now. It'll hold on. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Right now, we are 16 to 1. Oh my gosh. There he is. He's on the screen. Oh my god. Holy moly. Look at my hand shaking. Ready and Dawn and Mark Buchanan. Woo! Um, known as Fort Erie Racetrack, Claude Tulato, the president of the Fort Erie Live Racing Consortium, making the champagne and trophy presentation to I trainer Kevin attention. Attar, Alan Bill Alwelly. After Hadassah, some of these jockeys look like little kids, summons a wonderful trip to win the Prince of Wales Stakes, much more from winning connections live in the winner's circle in moments. And Hadassah was off at way over six to one.
15.50 on the win ticket, 7.40 at 4.60. Going back into a stall. Yeah. You got two guys with shavings, you guys are gonna break me, man. Fuck. Huh. Janet, I'm mm. taking you out for dinner, Janet, by the way. Here. Where are we going? Can someone hold this horse? Oh, you can fly my dress up. And there he is, ready at dawn. There he is after the race. Okay, so here is our ready at dawn the day after the big race. And he looks the exact same as he did. <laughs> and it looks like he has bandages and everything on him. And we have to use these little pins on him or else he like bites them off. Like he'll bite his bandages off if you don't have pins on them, like keeping them insecure. Aiden, you have right handsome. And my mom said after the race, he was like mad at like, sometimes they get mad. And he was like upset, right mom? Yeah. Well, can you explain how, what he was doing? He was felt that he should have done more. He did all he, he could do. He horses past him and he was very upset. He was like, hmm, I, I just didn't have it in me. Well, he does have it in him for, for seven furlongs, yeah, not... I had it in me for the first bit, but then afterwards I got a little tired. I think about the race is that the race was just too long for him. Obviously he doesn't like the length, and what I figured out from the race is that he doesn't like when horses pass him because he fell so fast, so quickly to the back because he felt another and saw the other horse beside him, and he's like... Trains. You can see where my training kicked in, right? When he started to go backwards, that's when my training kicked in. No, that's not how... Well, we had a win. We had a win yesterday with we Classico. We only had five. We had a win. We had a great day, great experience. He's a champ. Prince is a champ. A uh, little too far for him. And the class a little too tough. But uh, there was a moment on the far turn where he got a little more separation. We're like, is this going to happen? Um, but we're very impressed with him. We're looking forward to running him again. And it's like a lot of fun for our stable. And uh, we want to thank everybody for all their support and watching and, and just enjoying it with us and taking us for this wonderful journey that we're on for, uh, you know, a week and a half, two weeks leading up to the Prince of Wales. And the, the yes, excitement and was awesome. It was awesome. Yes. He's not number nine. They gave us the wrong one. What's that, Dad? Oh, well, there. What's that? Huh? Uh, where are you going? Are you happy? You love it? Are you going to put it on every time he goes out to the track? Sleep on it, cover, and make a pillowcase out of it. You go what? So that's the favorite thing to do with the shank. But right now, this is the day after the race, and he's getting massaged by our friend Dom Nick. Yep, he does this when he can. Takes him a half an hour, and he does this whole body, get all his muscles and everything. Right, Dom? So if you like the video, make sure you give a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below. And thanks for watching and following us along this journey. And Prince Dawn says, thanks guys for the support.